Hi everybody, welcome back again to my channel, The Silver Crown. I'm your host, Patricia. And for those of you that are dropping in for the first time, thank you so much for coming by. I hope you will subscribe to my channel and uh, give it a thumbs up if you like the video that you're about to see and the other videos that are in my log. Also, if it is your reoccurring time coming, thank you for hanging with me for this past year. And I wanted to tell you... Um, how I keep my hair white. Someone asked this question in one of my videos and wanted to know what do I do to keep my hair so white. Well, um, let me just show you a product that I had used in the past. If you look back through my videos, you will see um, where I used to use these two products. This is uh, by Clairol Professionals, and this is Shimmer Lights Shampoo and Conditioner for Blonde and Silver Hair. Okay, so... Here is this. Oops. Oh, Lord. You get the idea. There you go. Anyway, that's what I used to use in my hair. I have since given this away because I have more um, back in the storage in my RV. Uh, the reason that I was using this was because when I was relaxing and processing my hair, the chemicals in that would cause my um, silver to turn a brassy color and this product I don't know what it is about purple and blue um, I don't know if you can see this but it's purple as you can see <laughs> I don't want to make a mess here but it's purple um, there's something about blue and purple uh, and a chemical mixture that makes your hair white, the gray. I don't know what it is in the product that does that. But also, I saw a video on YouTube um, several, several months ago of another um, girlfriend that is gray, and she uses blue food dye in her hair to make her hair white. I don't know how she did that. I'd have to go back and... I don't even really remember her name now because she stopped posting videos, so I unsubscribed to her channel. But um, anyway, there's something about blue. or uh, Even a long time ago, when our great-grandmothers and grandmothers used to wash sheets, they used something called bluing that would make the white linen white. I don't know what it is about it, but that's what it is. However, I said all that to say that I don't know that I will have to use that now because I'm not processing my hair anymore. So my hair may just naturally stay this color. Um, it's really not as white as it can be because the shea butter that I use is yellow. <laughs> so it does put a it does put a little bit of a yellow tint to my hair. It looks white on the camera, but it's got a little slight yellow tint to it. So that's that. I wanted to make sure I answered that question. Um, the next thing I wanted to say was. This is my first twist out since my big chop. Um, and after my big chop, I cut off a couple of more inches as I, or another inch or so, as I explained in my last video with my husband. And I wanted to tell you how I felt um, and how I feel. This is new for me. My hair feels different. Um, I, I like the way it looks. I, I, I'm getting used to it. <laughs> I'm used to it being, you know, in two braids, right? So I don't think I can do the two braids right now. I don't, I don't know. I have to do something different. I'd probably have to do a whole bunch of little flat twists or something. I don't know. Uh, but I do want to say I have a confession to make. The other day, I had to go out to a funeral and... It was like right after my big chop, the day or so after my big chop, and I had put my hair in Bantu knots. Okay, so I took the Bantu knots out. I went to the funeral, and I have to tell you, I was feeling a little weird, right? So now I think I'm starting to experience what natural women, uh, uh, women in the natural hair community have been experiencing for a long time. When they wear their natural hair out, you know, people look at them kind of strange and all this, and... Um, I think I was looking at myself 
more strangely than everybody else was because I got a lot of compliments. Oh, your hair is beautiful. It looks nice. And I was thinking, ooh. You know, I was aware that it was different, that it had no unnatural products in it, that everything that was in my hair was completely natural. And it, I don't know. Anyway, what do you think? How do you, you know, what do you think? What do you think? You like it? Because I'm kind of stuck with it now. So, you know, I've done it. It's a done deal, y'all. Anyway, let me know if you had any feelings like that, like, just feeling a little weird and different. I, I was watching a video where a young lady was saying she didn't know how it was going to work when she went to work because uh, she had been wearing wigs and weaves and all that and no one had seen her with her natural hair. So she was a little concerned about what kind of looks and all she was going to get. And she got a few looks. So I don't I think she still has her job, though, thank God. But anyway, I just wanted to know if you've experienced that, right? If, uh, when you started wearing your natural hair, did people... Did people criticize you? Did they compliment you? How did you feel about yourself? Did you feel, oh, I love my hair? Did you feel, okay, this is different? Or what did you feel? Because I, I felt the, this is different kind of a thing because I had been relaxing my hair since I was 15, y'all, 15 years old. And I just stopped last year and I just turned 58. So all those years. So this is new to me and it, it feels it feels like a wig, but it's my hair. It's it's all mine. It's mine. Anyway, let me give you a close-up. Just let me know what you think. Do you like it? I mean, if you don't like it, I don't care. But I would like to know. <laughs> I would like to know if you like it. And uh, leave your comments in the comment section below. Don't forget to subs subscribe. Why do I have such a hard time saying that word? Subscribe to the channel. There's a little bell right next to the subscribe button. If you hit that bell, you will get a notification every time I upload a video. Okay? And don't forget to watch the last video that I just did that featured my husband and the questions that he had and his feelings about my natural hair. It's going to be interesting. You're going to like it. All right? All right. Thanks for coming by. I will see you next time. Bye.